Hi everyone, you're welcome to the Spirit and Mind podcast. My name is Emma, and on today's episode, we look at the power of meditation. We first find out what meditation is. We see the practical steps that we can take to meditate on God's Word, and we see the benefits we experience in our lives when we choose to meditate on God's Word. Come along. We see in the book of Joshua, an era had ended. A great prophet in all of Israel, who the Lord knew face to face, had died. In fact, in the verses of 11 and 12, the Bible describes that there was no one equal to the testimony and heritage of Moses as a prophet in all of Israel. However, we see an era begin with Joshua after he was chosen by God to lead the Israelites to the promised land. What a huge task. Very much challenging, with great uncertainties and many fears. This would make me or anyone stomach turn at the thought at what it would take to accomplish such a huge task. Like Joshua, each one of us has a promise from God that we are holding on to, a goal, a purpose, even a trial or a difficult situation we can't imagine ever surmounting. We see God as he encourages Joshua. He reminds him of his power and ability to bring the promise to manifestation and charges him with these words. In Joshua 1, 7, he says, Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do everything in accordance with the entire law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it, left or right, so that you prosper and be successful wherever you go. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall read and meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with it. Here, we witness how meditation empowered Joshua and how it can empower us to also action out and accomplish any goal. What is meditation? At its core, it is a practice of focusing your mind on God's Word. It's an intentional practice of taking time to read, contemplate, and apply the truths found in Scripture to our lives. When we meditate on Scripture, we open ourselves to hearing God's voice and receiving guidance and wisdom. We gain insight into our lives and the world around us and find comfort and strength and direction through meditating on God's word. How do we practice meditation? One, choose a quiet place free from distractions by finding a peaceful place where you can focus on God's word. Two, choose a passage of scripture that resonates with you and that you feel drawn to meditate on. Three, Read the passage slowly, paying attention to every word and phrase. Take note of any words that stand out to you as well. If you love to journal like I do, take time to write it out in your journal as you reflect on it. Reflect on the passage. Take time to reflect on what you're reading. Ask yourself questions like, what does this mean for me and how can I apply this to my life? Five, pray. As you meditate on scripture, take time to pray to God about what you are reading and ask him to help you understand and apply this to your life. What are the benefits of meditation? Succeed. There is a purpose and there is a goal that we all want to attain. And we all do really want to be prosperous like Joshua, who was successful and prosperous in distinguishing himself as a leader and demonstrating great faith in the face of challenges and circumstances. We lose stress and anxiety and are less likely to worry about the challenges and fears we face. We are transformed and live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. It's amazing how a few minutes of meditation can change my outlook in any situation and give me the strength to face whatever I need to. In a fast-paced world like ours, meditation allows me to slow down and engage with God's Word deeply. It's not just about reading the Bible, but also taking time to reflect on what it means and how it applies to my life. So why don't you start today? Choose a passage or scripture and begin to meditate on it. Thank you for listening on today's episode on the power of meditation. Join us next time for more conversations that connect you to your faith and challenge your pursuits of God. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and share.